bienvenidos. Welcome to beautiful Isla Espíritu Santo. Buenos dias, good morning country collectors. If you saw last week's video, you know we are in La Paz, the beautiful capital city of Baja California Sur. Today we are super excited because we are going on one of the most popular day trips here to Isla Espiritu Santo. And hopefully we're going to be able to snorkel with some sea lions. Wow, that <laughs> sounds fun. If you want to help us out, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future adventures. Are you ready for an epic day? I know. We are. Let's get started. First things first, we gotta fuel up. Let's go. The other day we got these delicious burritos right down the street from our place. I hope she's open. Looks like we're in luck. Norma is open. Yay. <laughs> there she is. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Oh, maybe cinco barritos. Cinco. Sí. Cinco. Okay. Gracias. Norma has got the most delicious breakfast foods here. She does burritos, empanadas, and she also does cups of coffee. Ooh, she's the best. Oh my gosh, they are so sweet. They really are. <laughs> I mean, they're just sitting out there having their morning coffee and they were all so friendly. Norma's like, get back here and take video of my empanadas. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> Norma. Me gusta mucho. <laughs> the other night we were out at dinner and ran into a couple fellow country collectors and they invited us out on this tour today. So we are going to meet up with Michael and Richard right now. We'd love for you to come. And I am so excited because it has been cloudy pretty much for the entire last week and the sky is blue. This is gonna be a great day, I can feel it. Welcome back to the Malecon. We made it here, we are at The Hook restaurant which is also home to Off The Hook Adventures. They do whale shark tours, tours to Playa Balandra as well as Isla Espiritu Santo where we are going today. We are just waiting for Richard and Michael and then we're gonna hit the water. And here they come. Good morning. Look who it is. Richard and Michael just showed up and we are so excited. We're doing some paperwork and they're taking our temperatures safety first. It is time to get on the water. We're gonna take a little drama bean. Drama bean. We're gonna take a little drama <laughs> bean. We're gonna take some drama bean, people. It might be a little rough out there. Don't be a hero. Take the pills before you leave. <laughs> She said they have about 800 more or less sea lions out there. 846. <laughs> There's an island here for migrating birds and she said the blue-footed booby comes here all the way from the Galapagos. Wow. So far we have seen some beautiful beaches along the way and right around the corner here is Playa Balandra which is the most beautiful beach in this region. I think we're gonna stop by there later so stay tuned. I can see the island, we're getting close and I am so excited. Thank you so much for coming along with us today. It's definitely been a little bumpy out here, but the sun is coming out and that water is turning that beautiful blue. We're 
just making our first stop at Bahia San Gabriel and there are so many birds here behind me. It is absolutely stunning. Right now the frigate birds are in mating season so you can see the red like neck is ballooned out. Wow this is crazy. It's like National Geographic. Karen was just telling us most marine birds they have like an oil on their skin so their feathers can get wet but these frigates do not so they have to be very careful when they're getting the food from the water to not get their wings wet or else they will die. They won't be able to fly. Frigate fight. This is unbelievable. We just said we feel like we're back in the Galapagos. This is a protected area. I think a bird just crapped on Adam. Hey! He did get pooped on. Ooh. It's right there. That's good luck in some countries. Unfortunately, this is not one of them. Traveler tip. Stay under the shade when you're at the bird area so you don't get crapped on. Perfect day. Oh man, so you guys know how to fit them. Yes. <laughs> So cool, right behind us here, you can actually see the different layers of rock from all the different time periods that this island developed. There's probably a ton of fossils in there. This entire island is volcanic, and that's why this red color is so prominent here. Our second stop is at the Calavarita. It's actually the graveyard of the island. The local people here, when someone would die, they would take their bodies and bring them down to the water, put them on a stake or just leave them out. And, and animals would come and actually eat all the flesh until they were just bones. Then they would take those bones to their final resting place, which would be in these little caves you can see right here. Thank you so much for coming along. If you're liking this video, give us a big thumbs up. We have so much more in store, so stay tuned. Water here is unbelievable. Brady, I'm looking at you. That water in the Philippines, this is a rival to it. We are here at stop number three behind me. This is Isla Isperitu Santo, and on the other side is Isla Partida. Partida means separated, and that is because it has separated from the main island. Right here in front of us, you can see is a fish camp. The fishermen go out and catch their lot, and then they bring it here to process it before taking it back to La Paz. I cannot believe that we are finally here, that you can hear the sea lions doing their oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It took about two hours to get here and it was so worth it, such a beautiful ride. This is the nursery. The pups were born two months ago, so this is where they learn to swim in little pools. And look how clear the water is. They're supposed to have a beautiful coral reef right here as well. There's some sea lions right there, a seagull, and some crabs in the rock. We have finally arrived to the famous snow island. You can see the snow covering this. This is the only day of the year you can see this. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that is bird poop. like we are getting ready to get in the water with the sea lion. She just prompted us to keep our hands closed because sometimes they get a little curious and they might bite you. <laughs> and yeah, to just give them their space. The males do tend to get territorial, so you just wanna be safe. They provide you with mask fins and snorkels, but as you know, we like to travel with our own. Also, don't forget defog. It's gonna make a huge difference with your mask fogging up so you can enjoy that wildlife down there. We'll link this in the description down below. Looks like we are all ready. We'll see you in the water. That was incredible. 
horrible. I was not prepared for that. We just saw those two huge males fighting down there over a woman. Come on guys, there's plenty to go around. This is so incredible. They're jumping out of the water. One was just nibbling on my fin. Man, what an experience. Wow, I cannot believe how many sea lions we saw and how close they got to us. That was so cool. <laughs> it was amazing. Yay! One came right into my face. It was like just so exciting. <laughs> You definitely have to do this when you come to La Paz. And there were so many different kinds of fish down there. I saw Moorish idols, banner fish, sergeant majors. Yeah. I mean, schools and schools of fish. It must be so perfect. cool. Yeah. They have just taken us to this arch. It's the Arch of Love. And she said she's gonna show us the peninsula of Baja, California. Oh my gosh, yes! Right there. That is crazy. Just right here, the sky coming through, this is the shape of the Baja Peninsula. Heading through the tunnel of love. <laughs> Just so you know, now that you've gone through the tunnel with us, we're gonna love you forever. It's hard not to smile with all this beauty around me, and the view's not so bad either. Welcome to stop number five. We are now in Chandelier Bay. This is where we're gonna hang out, have some lunch, maybe go paddle boarding. They just got the paddle boards down. They're setting up the umbrella with the table now. We're gonna enjoy some ceviche here on the beach. It's been such a wonderful day so far and we're so happy you came with us. Let's go explore a little bit. This landscape is like nothing I've ever seen. It is gorgeous, it's desert, it's red, it's volcanic. Look at this blue sky. I really don't think that video could possibly capture it, but I hope it does because this is incredible. And the captain just told us over here there's a doorway in the rocks that goes to another beach. Let's go check it out. I really hope it's open. Let's go find out. Ooh, I feel like I'm in I'm on Mars or something. Yeah, this landscape is just like out of this world. Wow, what's over here? I feel like I've been saying wow a lot today. We just emerged into this lagoon area. There's a few more boats over here. It looks like they have some tents set up for camping. What a special place to come and stay. It really is. There's a buzzard up there. Who are you calling a buzzard? <laughs> I think Richard was saying that this kind of reminds him of Arizona 
like the Sedona area. And something that like really tickles my soul is knowing that the indigenous, the Periku, used to live here. They found sh hooks made from shells dating back to 9,000 years ago. And I'm walking right now where they walked, breathed, lived, you know, enjoyed their life. And it's just really special. And I feel so grateful to be here. I'm heading back through the portal to the other side. See you over there. Welcome back to our side. Another boat just pulled up. They have some music jamming. I think it's time for some ceviche, maybe a cerveza. Let's get this party started. Ooh, it looks like he's making some lunch. What do you got? Oh, they have a nice classic ham and cheese. <laughs> yeah. It looks ham-tastic. <laughs> Put a little mayonnaise on there. Oh, maybe a little too much mayonnaise. <laughs> um, How's the Sammy? This Sammy is wonderful, <laughs> especially with the fresh sliced tomatoes and cucumber Ooh. on there. It's a winner but the real star is the ceviche. Oh. I cannot wait to jump into this. Oh my gosh, that looks incredible. And Can of course- add a little uh, spice, cause you know, what's life without some spice? <laughs> Let's try this out. Mmm. Wow. That fish is absolutely delicious. And look at that. She does everything. <laughs> Full service. Yes. They also provide soft drinks for you, which is, includes water, coke, a little juice. All right, Adam is gearing up to go paddle boarding. I've seen him do it before and... I mean, I feel like she said she's seen me do it, which she meant was she's seen me try to do <laughs> yeah. it. So let's give this a shot. I believe in you. Ooh. Okay, Adam, that's a lot better than the first time you've tried. Bend your knees. Oh no. I am really proud of Adam. He didn't eat it. <laughs> That's right. I have better balance than I remember, people. This is really cool. This little addition that they brought the paddle boards out for us. Let's head in. We want to give a shout out and say thank you to those of you that saved this island from becoming a casino, people. Imagine that. This incredible natural place mm -hmm. was almost a mega casino and hotel. Yeah. Luckily, some locals got together and bought the land before it happened mm -hmm. so they could preserve the nature and allow people like us and you to be able yeah. to come here and enjoy it. Thank God. Really. The other day we walked around town looking for the best price for this trip. We found a range between 65 and $100 to be on a boat with between five and 20 people. What we did today is a private tour for $350 and you can have up to six people, which I think is probably the best option if you're here with a group of your friends. The umbrella is down and our place is cleaned up. Remember, if you bring trash here to take it with you, this is an incredible place and we wanna keep it that way. Let's get on the boat. Appreciate you. Behind me here is the mask in the rock. The natives that lived here used to believe that it was a god and they would leave offerings in its mouth because whenever they came back, they would be gone. They believed it was actually God. We think it was probably birds or other animals that came here like the indigenous black jackrabbit that is only found here on this island. We are heading into Balandra Bay right now. This is one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Mexico. This water right here, it's so blue and clear. I see some stingrays out here and the water is so clear. You can actually even see the little dots on their backs. It is pretty incredible. Who what do you think? I think this looks like one of the prettiest beaches we have been to in Mexico. We are definitely coming back to Balandra Beach this week, so stay tuned for that video. We just arrived back at the beach. I'm kind of sad. I didn't want it to be over. Yeah. How much fun was this? A lot of fun. Thank you guys for coming. No. It was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. 
What a day, seriously. You guys have to come here, you have to do this trip. And remember, if you had a great time, don't forget to tip your captain and guide. Yes, <laughs> yes. Muchas gracias, Captain. Really appreciate you. High five. <laughs> Thank you so much. Gracias. Could that have been any more fun? Uh, almost too much to squeeze <laughs> into one video. We wanna give a special thank you to Richard and Michael. We are so grateful for your, your generosity. So thank you so much. We had a wonderful time. It was great to meet you. We mm -hmm. can't wait to hang out with you again. This was such a special day. We want to give a big shout out to El Capitan and Karen as well. They were the absolute perfect hosts on the boat today. Muchas gracias. If you enjoyed this video, give us a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ling, 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 ling the bell. And stay tuned because we have so much more coming from this area. We'll see you next time. Adios.